Okay. Um, yeah, welcome to this video. Uh, this is where the painting and decaling stage. Uh, what I've done is I've painted the canopy with interior green. I've also had to reposition it because it weren't quite right. But anyway, I bought. Um, so now it needs priming. And we're doing it in this. I'm doing it in this from the 5th Fighter Squadron 52nd Fighter Group. The 15th Air Force in Italy, somewhere in 1944. Uh, the nose is red. Uh, that is olive drab, obviously, anti glare. And then you've got um, yellow wingtips and a yellow tail. So, uh, what I'm going to do is paint most of the plane in uh, the Leo Gloss Black Primer. But I'm not going to paint the edges, the nose, and the tail, and the tail, because that will be in the Leo White Primer. Okay, uh, simply because the blue gloss black that gives a good coat, you know, for the aluminium when I paint it in aluminium, and uh, the white will be good for the. Uh, it's a good undercoat for the yellow and the red that's going to go on it. Okay, anyway. So I'll do that now. When I've done the black, I'll uh, mask up the edges and then spray the yellow, spray the white. But at the moment, that's how we are. Okay, see you shortly. Okay, so uh, like I said earlier, this part has been sprayed up with um, that Vallejo gloss black primer. And these parts where red and yellow is going to go has been sprayed uh, white and I've also sprayed the spinner white because I'm going to spray red now with a uh, Tamiya XM. Yeah. I, always, I always write the numbers on top what they are and then when I look you know in my paint racks I can tell which one to get easily okay anyway I'll uh, pre prepare the airbrush and I'll show you it being painted Let's give it a bit of that thought first of all. Okay. Okay. So, uh, going to paint the other parts of the aircraft now with XF3. Uh, tell me, yellow. <coughs> so, do the prop tips first because they've uh, already uh, what do you call it? Mask them. Cool. 
can see how well the uh, yellow is spraying because I've done it in white. It's been mixed roughly 50 50 with Tamiya XF. Is it? No, X22A, isn't it? The Echo XF. So, Okay, so uh, build up the paint slowly. Well, I give it a think on and then give it a decent coat now. where the masking tape is I try to uh, hit it nine, at 90 degrees and then it doesn't go under the masking tape as well ok so uh, give this a spray the old yellow right? Okay, so that it looks yellow enough to me. Oh, I mean, this is the stuff. Give it another coat. Okay, um... It's funny how I can't tell when I'm uh, concentrating. Okay, right, so. Uh, clean the airbrush up now. Uh, and then 
when I remove the masking, we'll, uh, the, you know, we'll, we'll reveal that. But my battery's about to go, so it needs to go and charge. All right, see you shortly. Okay. So, time to peel off some of this masking. Nice and gentle and pulling it away. Okay, so that's a nice clean edge, isn't it? Um, you might be asking why I've done it this way, uh, not just sprayed it up yellow and then mask it afterwards, but then you have uh, some yellow on here and I have to spray this back black again, so uh, that's why I did it that way. Anyway, on the, these one I did earlier in blue piece of fashion, that side's fine, okay. So what I'll do is I'll remove the rest rest of it and we'll have a look at it before I spray the aluminium. Alright. Oh I'm not uh, videoing the aluminium, that'll be done in my spray booth because there's a lot of it. Okay. Yeah, but I need to mask up this part before we do that. Alright, see you shortly. I'm going to spray the um anti glare panel now on the cowl. And so I've masked it all up to protect everything. I don't want any of this olive drab going anywhere else. But there, um, I've also uh, given it two coats of Future Floor Polish to protect the aluminium because when I lifted the uh, masking tape on the yellow, it peeled some off. So I wasn't very pleased with that when it happened with it. So. so this is a Tammy olive drab. XF62. Let's uh, uh, thin a little bit with that sensitive air. And to get the curve, I've used that. Uh, let me tell you a bit for going around curves or what have you. Yeah, I'm off by more of a more tiny curve. This is pretty beautiful, don't I? I forget my experiments with a umbrella thing. Sorry about that. Right, so I'm just going to spray up the uh, bazookas and the bomb thing. They're not going on the plane, but they're on their arm aren't they? So.
You can't blast this stuff on, can you? You don't like it. Anyway, give us two seconds and I'll uh, show you the uh, masking being peeled off. What do you say? Okay, so let's gently peel this off. Oh, that's brilliant, isn't it? Cool. Oh. Okay, so next thing is to mask off and paint these with XF4 yellow and green. And, the, and then all the paintings done. Uh, and so I've already painted the other parts, but I used uh, for contrast. I used um, Ravel aluminium for that for them. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's great, isn't it? Let's see you shortly. Okay, so it's time for me to uh, finish the painting by painting the uh, wheel well. I've uh, masked it all off with uh, tape and tissue. Um, we're going to spray it. Uh, XF4, yellow green, chromate yellow, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I think that's done. Get me on the carriage doors to do now. Don't really need to do these because the, when they were on the ground, Mustang's inner doors were closed. But we'll paint them anyway. Okay, so I think that's. Um, all the major painting of the aircraft done. So we can start decaling it next, I think, once they're dry. I might do a bit of a, a wash on some things, but you know, we'll have to see. Okay, right, so. So everything is painted up now, except for the exhaust stacks, and I'm going to paint them Humbrol 53. Gunmetal and then dry brush uh, 70 on, I think. Brick red. Okay, right, so <clears throat> see you shortly. Okay, um, all the painting and the decaling is complete now. 
as you can see um, can't complain about the decals they went, went on pretty well I've done a bit of a just only a small small amount of weathering because I want to keep the aluminium uh, put a panel line wash and then a bit of smoke staining for the guns and the exhaust uh, it's a nice little kit this one if you can if you see it anywhere I'll pick it up if I will I'll buy it. I'll certainly make it again so well it's gone together uh, and like I say even though, the de even though the decals were 19 years old they've gone on really well okay they might be a little bit thick and you can't see the panel lines much but you know they didn't give me any problems whatsoever they just went on anyway so we'll call that the end of this video painting and uh, decaling <clears throat> what we need to do now is put all the little parts on it exhaust on the carriage aerials and give it a satin coat I think peel off the masking and we'll do a final reveal video so if you've stuck with me this far thanks very much <clears throat> well done uh, if you can give us a like please and uh, if you're not already subscribed please subscribe so this is uh, Stevie D signing off for this video uh, cheerio stay safe and bye for now bye